Well, the battle goes on year after year to prevent wild animal species from facing extinction. But many domestic animals, too, could soon disappear from the planet forever. Only on KXA and Austin News at 5, Jim Swift tells us about a local farmer who's trying hard to save them. You gotta see what makes it special. Right back there. When city kids take a tour of Green Gate Farm in East Travis County, one of the things they learn is that big animals can have some pretty big body parts. How often do you get to see that? I mean, they're as big as your head. <laughs> but there are other, perhaps even more important lessons to be learned here. There's thousands and thousands of kinds of birds, and our job is to make sure that we, we take care of all of them and that they come back. And the whole point of our farm is to show you that there's hundreds and hundreds of kinds of animals that we should be raising and eating. Here is a prime example. Unlike these enormous so-called improved breeds of hogs, the smaller guinea hog has a special place in the history of American farms. They probably came to the United States back in the 1600s. Um, they were the kind of pig that every American farmer had in the South because you would keep them around your house and they would eat your garbage, they would eat snakes, they would keep you company. Um, and if you use them right, you can even till up your garden with them because they like to nose around. Greengate farm owner Erin Flynn is actually actively trying to save the species, which she says is down to only about 2,000 hogs. But when licorice here gave birth to two piglets, the sow accidentally sat on and crushed one of them. Omega is here and, and really has a life force. She really wants to be here. And so that's why we're putting this energy into her, trying to bring her back and hopefully she can perpetuate the breed. It appears that there's no fracture no real pain issue. Animal rehabilitation practitioner Deborah Carroll is using laser light therapy to treat the piglet. Carroll will be paid according to another old-fashioned tradition with organic food grown on the farm. What we're trying to show is if you want five acres and you want to have a, a system where you are feeding your family and probably have extra for your neighbors, you can do it. And it doesn't just have to be vegetables. It can be animals as well. Out in the country of Far East Austin, Jim Swift, KXAN, Austin News. Hog heaven in that water. You can take your own tour of Green Gate Farm and learn more about the history and importance of guinea hogs in our country. On the Internet, of course, just follow the links we've got set up for you at the local news page at KXAN.com.